We often find ourselves overwhelmed by situations going on around us. We can easily be overcome by issues at work, at home, at school, our health, and our family. During times like these, we are tempted to charge forward to meet the situation head on. We may even quote Philippians 4.13 saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Unfortunately, most of the time we do this in our own strength, without consulting our Heavenly Father. The problem with this is that sometimes God doesn't want you to take control of the situation. In Psalms 46.10, God tells us to be still and know that I am God. Sometimes God calls us to just be still, give Him control, and let Him handle the situations in our lives. That way He gets all the glory. We can see an example of this after the Israelites had left Egypt. They found themselves trapped by the Red Sea, with the Egyptian army coming after them. Then in Exodus 14:14, 14, 14, Moses tells the Israelites, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. God took control and used the opportunity to wipe out the Egyptian army. The Israelites just had to stand and watch. We find another situation like this in 2 Chronicles 20, when the armies of three enemy kings came up against Judah. God told King Jehoshaphat, don't be afraid or discouraged because of this large army before you. The battle is not yours. It is God's. The next day when Judah marched out to the battlefield, they found that the enemy armies had defeated each other. All they had to do was go and pick up all the loot. King Hezekiah had a similar situation where God fought the battle for them. Sometimes the battle isn't yours to fight. God just wants you to do nothing but trust Him and watch Him handle the situation. By doing it this way, God's strength is shown and we learn to trust Him. Psalms 37.7 says, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways or when they carry out their wicked schemes. For many people like me, this isn't easy. We like to be in control. And sitting still when things are going wrong is the hardest thing in the world. But sometimes God calls us to do just that, to wait patiently while He handles the situation. If nothing you do seems to be fixing the problem, then just give it to God and ask Him to take control. Waiting on God and giving Him control does require trust and patience. For me, when something's wrong, I want to jump in and fix it immediately. And this usually doesn't go very well, and the situation ends up worse off than when I start. When things are going wrong, and everything and everyone seems to be against you, take a deep breath, and ask God to step into the situation. Then be still and wait patiently. Maybe He will give you a solution, or maybe He will solve the problem altogether. Psalms 46 1 said, tells us that God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Ask God to step into the situations in your life. He may just surprise you. Have a great day, guys. Hope to see you soon.